What's up, parkour nerds? Coach Renee here, Origins Parkour, and today we are talking about taking impact and connecting moves with a gallop. A gallop is a smooth quadrupedal movement that usually takes place once you have hit the ground after a drop. Now there are a couple of things that a gallop is not. It is not simply just putting your hands on the ground, and it is also not a ground calm. The feeling you should get when doing a gallop is very similar to that of a shoulder roll. So when you do a shoulder roll, you take a drop and then you do a roll in order to smooth out some of that impact and get a nice fluid connection into a run instead of just taking a drop with your legs and then running forward from there. So if you're trying to learn how to do a gallop, it's best to actually practice by going sideways so we can use something like a line on the floor here. And all I wanna do is bring my hands out and front of me to the side and get used to the idea of moving my legs around in a circle. You can try that on both sides in order to figure out which side you prefer to learn from. Eventually you want to have this as an ambidextrous move, but at first it's going to be easier to learn on your dominant side. Do not underestimate that circular leg work. So you notice when I come out to the right, my left foot steps first and my right leg swings around. This is actually gonna take a lot of reps to get used to and be able to do automatically when you come out of a drop. If you're having trouble with the leg work, you can also just take your hands out of the equation and just focus on the legs themselves. So once again, you're gonna need a line and you're gonna start on one side. If I'm jumping over to the right, I'm actually gonna be landing on my opposite leg first. So right jump equals left leg down first, and then step forward right. If I prefer to move to the left, I can jump left and then land right, and step forward left. The intricacies of the gallop don't just stop with the leg work. There's actually a particular hand placement that we also want to learn. And this is actually a, the preferred hand placement of Daryl Stingley, who is the most dynamic user of the gallop. Daryl prefers and teaches a staggered hand placement because the staggered hand placement allows him to bring his momentum forward and also cover more distance with each gallop. And we all know that the name of the game for flow is to take fewer steps and to try to cover more distance with each move. Before we get into the staggered hand placement and what it looks like on the floor, we actually found that it's more intuitive to think of how this works by going over a structure. So what you're gonna do is you're going to align yourself to the side of a wall that you can go over. And what we're gonna do is actually kind of like a lateral moving step vault. So I'm gonna be moving lateral and a bit of a diagonal this way and step vault over. I'm gonna show you that one more time and I want you to pay attention to how my hands make contact with the box here. So I don't know if you caught that, but it's actually super weird for me to reach over with my opposite hand first and go like this. I can't really use this arm at that point. This hand definitely wants to go down second because it's the hand that I'm going to exit with. So I start by placing down whatever hand is closest I mostly use this hand to pop myself up and then I exit with that second hand. And that's exactly how we're gonna do it on the floor. So we're back down to our line on the floor and what we're gonna do here this time is as we put our hands over to the side, we're gonna make sure that we put down whatever hand is closest first. So if I'm going to the right, I'm gonna be putting down my right hand first and then I'm gonna reach over top with my left, then I'm gonna swing my legs around. It's very important to make sure when we're doing a good gallop to make sure you're putting your weight onto your hands. You can't simply just touch the ground as you're doing it because then you're gonna be taking all the impact from whatever drop you just did straight to your legs. All right, now that we have learned how to do a gallop, we can start trying to use it to connect some moves and maybe used to absorb some impact from higher drops. Now, it's not my favorite application, but when you're learning how to do a gallop, it's also really easy to use when connecting spaces in between two structures that are far away from each other. So rather than doing one move here and then running into the next one, I can start to use my gallop to absorb some of the impact that I take from that first drop 
and then connect it to another wall in front of me. Once you're comfortable doing your gallop on both sides, there's actually a neat little exercise that we can do on the floor, again, using a line. And this is gonna really help dial it in so that it becomes automatic on both sides. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do a pattern that zigzags and goes side to side. So if I start on one side of the line, I do my gallop. I'm gonna freeze right here. Now here is the tricky part. This hand is actually, we know, going to reach over again first to perform the next gallop. And once you get good at this drill, you can perform it in warm-ups. It's a really fun way to just get your body warm doing a nice quadrupedal movement. If you like this video, drop us one of these, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.